Hey guys, good to see you back. It's Chris again. Yeah, I'm still farming farmhand over here with Mike and well, we're bringing back the forager, which I sh probably should have done yesterday, but hey, it's fine. I know that they want me to put it back right where I got it from, which was right on this corner. So let's do what they ask us to do. It should be fine. And then I actually have something pretty cool to show you. Make sure, turn the lights off, turn the engine off, get out of here. Yep, pretty very pretty machine i really really like oh let's put the hydraulics down um hold on hold on aha yeah <laughs> Did, didn't work with it for a day and already forgot how everything works so cool so this guy's here um that's all well, sign thank you this is actually a toy that we may use today probably gonna use pretty soon but first i have something to show you where did i leave the truck i left it right here Okay, yeah, I have something to show you. Mike is very impatient, and apparently workers around here are very quick <laughs> getting stuff done. I, I was impressed how fast I got that up, but maybe it's just the prefab um, behavior or thingy that we have going on here. Nobody coming. Okay, there we go. Um, stop sign. Anyone coming from over here? Nope, don't have anything. So, yeah, let's make sure that I actually drive a little more, I don't know, like I'm from here. Not just go all over the place all the time. And I blink off. Would be nice if the new, the, even the older cars would turn off the blinker after you turn, but hey, you can't have everything all the time. So, let's head back to the to the farm, right over here. Nice, nice quick car here. Um, it's not gonna, not gonna cause us any trouble. And there are two things that Mike told me about that, well, that are new. Turn here, that looks good. Um, yeah. And we're gonna stay in this one. As you can see, I have not put the harvester away. And actually, that is a perfect, perfect segue to what we're gonna do today. So let's just park it up here by the house. That should be fine. Very good. Uh, Mike will be happy to have his, have, a tr have his truck back. And look at that park job, beautiful. Um, this trailer, someone needs to move that. This trailer, we may move that eventually. But for right now, let's get the harvester. Um, definitely pull in the pipe because we don't need that. Um, yep, pipe in. We're on. Pipe in. There we go. That's the right button. Just gotta click the right thing at the right time and then it actually works. Who knew? But yeah, let's take this guy over here. I do know there's the corn header to our left. I, I guess I can drive over this field. It's not really. Not what's gonna happen to this field, but you can already see what we have going on. Yeah, we're, we're just gonna go across the field here. Um. I'm, I'm gonna plow this anyways, it's fine, it's fine, it's not too wet. And hey, a couple shortcuts are sometimes nice to have in life. We have a shed. <laughs> Mike finally splurged on a shed and he has a really nice one. Really, really nice one. He has some inside storage, he has some outside storage, he just has kind of everything that you need and there's actually a shop on the outside here uh, where we can do some, some work to the machinery. It came with a lot of tools, so I think we can do everything that we need to do, which is really exciting. Um, but for right now, let's just start putting some stuff away. The harvester is just going to take up so much space. And if, if I can fit you in here, which I'm not convinced that I can. Nope, Mike, you should have bought something a little bigger. The harvester is not going to go in here. <laughs> that's, that's fine. And also, for some reason, Mike's neighbor over here, or th there's a little parcel on the field, or on the field that he owns, that he doesn't own, which is essentially this little shed over here that we can't use i know i was driving in front of it but i guess the owner didn't see me but the property starts right here and we cannot or the, the owner is not letting us do anything to it so we just got really close to the edge of it but that's about it so now we just have to wait until we can do more so let's see if we can fit the harvester in here we only have a small one and if i have to i will leave the headers outside but i really don't want to so let's see can we get in here yes we can wonderful and then just for easier access later on um let's just pull in in the back just a little bit just a little bit just a little bit more it's not the biggest shed that he could have bought but it's a start it is definitely a start let's see where do we have room he doesn't have that many machines there yeah, we kind of squeezed that right in there i think we can go a little further back and that's about it.
I've seen worse. If I have to get, yeah, this is fine. Everything still works great. <laughs> still clicking the wrong buttons. But there we are. We have a shed now. We can put a bunch of things in here, I guess. The dominator is the first thing. Then we have a lot of space for whatever miscellaneous machinery we need out here. That is good. Maybe even bales if we really want to or have to. And yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on. The first thing that we're going to do, something else that Mike just bought, is a GPS for the McCormick. Yeah, apparently it didn't have one, but now it does. And since it has one, we should probably, well, install one because it'll be nice to have for the plowing. I am not the best at plowing. Uh, you know, straight lines are hard. But if the McCormick, which is our biggest tractor, has a GPS on it, then that's going to be our fieldwork tractor. And I'm kind of excited for using that. Because I heard everything is new. Everything is, you know, just digitized and digitalized. And hopefully, hopefully... Um, everything will be easy and I don't have to try to hold my hold my course as much as I have been so far so I'm kind of excited to use that let's get this baler also to on the inside let's go yep there we go uh, we, we can probably level out that, that little bump there a little bit that should be fine get in here where should we park you um, the first thing we need is probably open this this guy okay and then we're just gonna maybe... I, I was gonna almost put it on the right side of the of the wall there, but I don't think that's a, that's a good idea. Because we need some maneuvering space if we really want to do, do this efficiently. Should work. Just a little more, just a little more. We do want to pack it tight, but we don't want to destroy any of our equipment. There we go. Just a little more. Just a little more. Oh, come on. Apparently it's a little bigger than I, than I assumed. This would be easier with two people. Just having someone standing behind me telling me where I am. But we make this work. That's fine. And just a little more. A little more. And that should be good. Perfect. Right where I wanted it. Um, get these off. Disconnect that guy. And then get out of here. Yeah, we'll just we'll just put this guy into the um, into the shop right here. Barely fits, but that's okay. And then um, we can just get that stuff installed. I think I'll just leave this here until I'm ready for it. It shouldn't be much longer, but by the time uh, by the time we have to start on things, that should just be ready. There's a lot of machinery over there that has to be moved around. I should probably maybe do that relatively soon. What else do we have over here? We have the... We have the Maxim sitting right there. You have the Windrower behind you. Yeah, that can stay outside. I think all the grass stuff I'm okay with leaving on the outside. I mean... Even whenever I do something, it gets wet in a little bit, you know, something. It's nicer to have it inside, but I don't believe the winters here get that terrible that we have to worry about so much. And I, I haven't seen any per precipitation, aka rain, um, so far since we were here. I know there's some snow in the forecast, but if that is all we have to worry about, then I think we're pretty good. So let's just get this in here close to the wall, use the space as much as we can, and then I think I'll just back this up a little bit and put the rest hopefully right in front of it. This is one of the last things we use when we do get to um, grass harvest, so I think having that right in the back makes the most sense. Disconnect all of these guys, perfect. Gosh, already like in the shed this will be great great addition to great addition to the farm good job mike proud of you and good job builders because they got this put up so fast it is a little ridiculous but i'm not complaining i'm just it's nice this field over here i'm not sure that we're gonna keep it as a field or going to keep it as a field maybe i don't, I don't know what mike wants to do with it maybe we'll do something special i just don't know what yet i think this is the um, tiller, not tiller. What is that? Mulcher? Is that the name for it? I think that's the mulcher, and we're gonna use that later. So we leave that there. That is our little disc harrow cultivator. We're definitely gonna need that at some point. This is the sprayer. I hope we're not gonna need the sprayer for a while. So let's get that one. Even though it is, 
under a roof right now. It's kind of hard to get to, if, if we're honest. So let's... Ah, can't get in. Ah, squeeze. Who threw the bail like that? <laughs> yeah, this is just too tight. I, I guess I don't have to connect everything. All I needed was to make sure that it's um, on the three-point linkage. So it should be good. Get you out of here. And... Whoa, 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 whoa. Yep, good. I lifted it up and the tractor went up a little bit. So <laughs> that was interesting. Great. Um, yeah, let's go over here. There's a lot of mulching we have to do, but I think the... What should we do first? Should we do mulching first or should I worry about plowing first? I'm honestly not quite certain what the right approach would be. Um, but, I mean, we have options. Options are always nice to have, so maybe I just keep start thinking about that. And there's also the, the question of should all, all our fields at least get plowed once every once in a while, or should I start by... Um, just cultivating them, ignoring the plowing part. I mean, we don't own a plow yet. We own, we barely own a vehicle that's going to be able to pull the plow that we need. So just with that in mind, maybe we'll see. We'll see how slow it is. I, th I think for the for the grassland, I at least have to plow that and well, then seed seed the seeds. I hope there are not a lot of rocks in the field. If there are a lot of rocks, I feel almost inclined to make Mike get something to pick up the rocks with because the mowers do not like rocks. I can tell you that for nothing. Um, it's just it's just how it is. Let's get over here. Yeah, we have, we have to make this driveway a little wider if we're, if we're ever going to do anything with that field over there. So we have this one, the cedar. Definitely, I don't think we will need the cedar this year. We, we still have a lot to do, and we may just have to start planting again in the spring. So I think we can get the cedar out of here. With that, let's, let's back up here. Yep. Let's get the cedar out of here. That John Deere, I don't know where I'm going to put it. That little carp horde next to us. It's probably a better place to park the truck than right next to the house, but hey. It's my, not my car. It's just the car that I use every once in a while. Um, so we'll let Mike figure that out. Get you up. Looks like the case is at least able to move this, which is all we really care about. There is a that's a roller and I think maybe even a weeder all in one. We'll need that for the grassland next year. I'm not sure where I'm going to leave that. Maybe I'll leave it just near... Well, if I even would leave it near the grassland, it would still be um, directly connected to... Well, it's right next to the grass, so I don't think I have to worry about that too much. Where should I park this? It's the cedar. I don't want this to get wet at all, so maybe put the front attachment over here. Um, let's make sure that we have the right one. There we go. Lower you. Um, come on. There you go. That will work. Um, and then let's just turn around, hope that I don't do a wheelie. And don't hit anything else there. there little wheelie. <laughs> I should have probably done the other way first. But that's okay. The McCormick is really the tractor. It's going to do most of our field work, so I'm not really worried about what we can and can't do. What is going on? There we go. That's what I want. Just a little, little hard to get to where we want to go. We are pretty close. There you go. Okay. I'm gonna say here is good. Yes, that's better. Don't wanna lower it on your feet when you unload it. Wow. No, we can do better than that. Much better than that. Let's go. It's hard to see what the what the range really is. Oh, the money that you see? That's just money that Mike gave me. He said, just go buy a shed and uh, figure things out. I, I will have to give him back the rest. I, I'm about... I mean, Mike hasn't paid me yet, so I don't have any extra money at this point. I will actually go figure that out with him right now um, so we don't, we don't get confused on who's owning what and all that stuff. So, yeah, let's, let's find Mike. Um... And then I will figure out if he wants me to start plowing or what he wants me to do. Maybe I can get the GPS installed while he figures that out. Maybe he can get the plow. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to happen. Okay. 
Let's see. Mike, what do you want? Mike, Mike, yeah, money. Get your money back. Okay, so I have what I need. Mike wants me to start plowing. I think that's fair. I will... Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually... Should I get my trailer? I will find something else to take back to um, to the shed. I don't know what it is yet. It may be that John Deere over there. I'm not, I'm not really sure. But then I will install the GPS into into the McCormick, get the plow, and once all that is done, I will... Well, the mowers need to get cleaned. They're dirty. I don't want to take them back yet. Um, but then I will get the plow, and we can start on the on the grassland with, with actual, um, actual work. So yeah, let's get this one in here. That looks good. And what else do I... Is there anything else I can take? I don't want to take the mower separate, honestly. It may be worth it, but not this time. No, I'll just take this one, jump into my karmic, and figure things out. Yeah, that sounds good. I will see you probably on my way back from the shop. How about that? Yeah, that sounds great. Yeah, that's all good. I think it's fermenting just the way it needs to be, so life is good. I'll see you in a little bit. Hey, nice to see you, that you're still here. It did take a couple hours, but the GPS is in. Um, it actually comes with some really fancy goggles, which I was able to connect to the camera so you can actually see what I see. It's kind of weird, but it's kind of cool. I like it. It's just, you know, new new technology nowadays. It's always a little scary, but also it's usually a little bit necessary. So here we are. So uh, once we get to the field, I will try to set it up and you can hopefully see exactly what I need to do because everything is just interactive. I have like these little VR sticks that I can play with and um, they should make my life a lot easier. At least I hope they do. Get over here. We did pick up the plow. You can probably see it in the mirrors just a little bit. I'll show you all, what, what it's all about later on. But we are arriving just where I need to be. Obviously it is snowing, um, and that's fine. It's just part of it. Um, but here is the meadow. <clears throat> did, did someone forget that we had a bale? Um, just a bunch of bales sitting around here? I think I did. I think I was that guy that forgot that. Let's let's do this. Um, ooh, cold. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I'm dressed a little appropriately. We'll see if any of this sticks to the ground, but yeah, we're not going to be able to do anything here until um, all those bales are not here anymore. So there's only one thing we can really do. Oh, it's getting dark too. Wow. We got to pick him up. <laughs> I should have totally thought of that before, but hey, um, you live and you learn. I think we'll just take this one because I don't want to run as far to get to mine. Uh, okay. Yep. That looks good. I hope, yeah, I really hope the snow doesn't stick under this building, but who knows? Maybe too much wind will do something um, that's a little unnecessary, but that's okay. Let's just get, get the bales. Where should I put them? Honestly, maybe the best place for leaving them is over here in this little empty field. I don't know. I don't know if I want them. We, we're going to need them near the cows. That's right here, which have still not arrived. I'm, I'm still waiting for them, but I'm sure something's going to happen sooner or later. Um, but yeah, we have, we have to put those bales somewhere. I just simply don't know where yet. Let's get this thing attached so we can start, because if it gets too cold, and I have no idea what the temperature is right now, once it gets too cold, we're not going to be able to do anything... Um, plowing wise but i did look up what um recommended seeding on yeah seeding time planting uh, planting times are for different crops the only thing that we could do is grass so whatever we do i should try to get all of um the field plowed over there so we can actually get our grass going but we'll see how that's gonna go let's go up here should be fine. Oh, I should have gone out here in the first place. That field we already have harvested, so that should be good. Wow, there's another one. I really don't know where my fields are. Yeah, I, I don't think we're going to do anything with this large field. That's just going to be our main crop next year. We just we don't have any machinery that we can really use for um for sugar beet harvest. 
I'm just wrong one. I did just realize that this tractor doesn't have any like centralized display of anything. Any all, all the things that are maybe important are to the right here on that little screen. I'm not the biggest fan of that. <laughs> just gonna say that, but that's fine. Let's turn this guy on. Uh, lower, lower look, your little pitchfork. There we go, and let's get this going. Again, bailing works, not that exciting, but we gotta get them done, so here we are. I think it's drone time. Let's see that snow from above. Yeah, well, that was a little unexpected, but that bale does not want to get on the trailer for right now. Maybe I just have to get my Massey out and, you know, pick it up, put it somewhere. I don't know. I know the other bales are under, um, under a roof now, so I'm not that worried about that one bale if we don't need it. But I definitely have to clear it off the road. It's just not a job for right now. Let's wait until a little later and it should be fine. So now I can finally show you the new GPS, uh, if I can set it up right. So, okay, the Cormac, ooh, still cold in here. Maybe I should have let it run. It was a little faster progress than I expected, but hey, we live and we learn. So, uh, if I have my glasses on, and this is all correct, I think I can just say, open the menu, very good. Um, turn all these things on for what they need to be before i do this though before i do this um how about we unfold the um the plow that's that's great but can you please go the other way that's the way we're gonna start so yeah that should be good let's make sure that we align you actually in a way that makes sense for what we're doing here um that looks fine I want a relatively straight line, like right here. That feels that feels pretty good. Um, let's let's set this up the way it wants to be set up. So over here, I have to click auto whiff. What's the whiff of our plow? That looks good. We're offset to to one side. That should be fine. Uh, we can turn that on. Line offset. I don't want to do too much terrain angle. Yes, I think that's fine. That's just GPS steered. And everything else should be pretty much good to go. So, yeah, let's just uh, turn it on. I know there's a hotkey here that I can use too, and we should be good to go. So, um, yeah, this, this looks good. Um, I forgot something. Of course I forgot something. I have to create a track first for what we're doing here. Line method, yes. That looks good. Set A, set B. I think this is all excellent. And... Hmm, what am I missing? I'm missing something. First time using any tools always, you know... Just ridiculous. <laughs> all of this looks good. I think we enable that, that should be good. Um, A plus heading, that sounds good. Uh, cardinal degree zero, that sounds fine. I think we're good to go. I think. There we are. 
And now we just say lower this thing. Make sure that everything is lined up. That looks pretty good. Thank God for these glasses. That is that is just excellent. Actually, I don't want you to be there yet. Let's let's move a little forward because I didn't realize. Hey dear, didn't realize we're that far out. But this should be this should be good. I think we're offset. Are we offset to the wrong side? I think we are. Let me fix that. Let me fix that real quick. Uh, over here. I don't really want to be offset at all. I think on that side is what we need right now. There we go. Is this too far? Nope, I think this is good. This feels pretty appropriate. We're, we're just a little far over. So let's just move move the whole track over a little bit and that should be fine. Wow, it's dark outside. Turn our lights on. Um, let me finagle this track really quick, just for a little bit, um, until I feel comfortable with where we are. I think if we just use the next line over, we should be fine. And then we can build a new field over here. Does it have to be a grass field? Well, that's what Mike told me he wants me to do. So that's what we're gonna do today. Pretty simple. Lower this guy, um, and yeah, we're ready to go. I did buy a front weight because that was just necessary. And it looks like this tractor has no problem pulling that plow just behind us. Perfect. Love it. Thank you. Okay, so that was the first round around, and now we just have to make this whole field turn into dirt. And I think you know what that means. That's definitely a time lapse. We'll see if you need to watch all of this, but I'm pretty excited that we have the GPS system now, because this should be a lot more efficient than what we were doing before. So, um, whatever you get to see, I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you again on the other side. Probably next episode, though. Maybe we'll wrap this up in the next episode, too. I'm not 100% sure yet. We'll see how this goes. But, you know, this is important. So, thank you all for watching. Really appreciate it. We will see what we do with this field. Maybe, maybe I'll change my mind on the grass. Maybe I won't plant it right away. Maybe this will be our other big field, and we just make one of the other fields that we already have into our grass field. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. There, there are options. We do have options, so we may as well take them. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye.